after the final draw, Long Chen will soon face his first battle. After whispering to Chire, he steps onto the arena. His opponent in the first round is an assassin named Xing Xian, a young man with a beautiful name yet of wretched appearance. At the sight of Long Chen, Xing Xian reveals a complicated expression. He is not afraid of Long Chen's strength, but he knows that Chire, the big shot in the assassin's temple, is very concerned about the young man in front of him. She even broke into the knight's temple at night and seriously injured Yang Wenzhou, who has a very powerful background. Xing Xian is eager to win, but he can't afford the consequences of pissing off Chire. He swallows with fear, and his spiritual power is gradually emitted. He is going to test Long Chen's strength first to see if there is any way to let the young man admit defeat, and in this way he will win without harming Long Chen. He believes Saint Chire won't get even with him. With this on mind, Xing Xian begins to make a move with pattern under his feet undulating. His figure gradually becomes illusory and disappears into the public's view. He hides behind a stone pillar. The assassin's approach is famous for its treachery. The best way to defeat the assassin is to make a move at the beginning of the game while the opponent's is not completely hidden. Xing Xian behind the stone pillar gathers his power into the bottom of his feet. He is ready for the attack of Long Chen. To Xing Xian's surprise, however, Long Chen stands still. Xing Xian holds his breath attentively, constantly changing positions between different stone pillars until he is sure that Long Chen could not know his position. Xing Xian's warning eyes have been fixed on Long Chen. The players who can enter the finals are all excellent with superb strength. Xing Xian can't be any less alert. Long Chen's body is full of light, and his holy power is pouring into his sword. He is gaining momentum. This is the attack that the knight gathers all his strength. As time goes on, the breath Long Chen gathers is getting more and more powerful. The powerful spiritual power makes the surrounding air become thick, and the afterwave spread out intimidates Xing Xian. An uneasy thought grows in his heart. Can Long Chen locate him? How can this be? He has completely made all his breath imperceptible. In the midst of Xing Xian's confusion, he finds Long Chen closing his eyes. At first, Xing Xian is shocked, and a touch of anger emerges on his face. How arrogant! Does this boy want to locate his position through hearing and smell? For an assassin, screening the enemy's five senses is a basic skill. He is confident that he will never have a lapse. Xing Xian clenches his fist angrily and stares at Long Chen. The power gathering skill consumes a lot of spiritual power. As long as Long Chen can't find locate him, he is confident that he can defeat Long Chen whose spiritual power is exhausted. At this time, the arena is eerily quiet, and both sides of the competitors stand still with no one taking an action. Everyone looks at Long Chen in confusion. They can understand the assassin is hiding in the dark. But what is Long Chen doing? He's gathering strength for a big move without seeing the opponent? Chire isn't concerned about the noise in the auditorium, a faint smile hanging on the corner of her lips. This shows her confidence in Long Chen. Two minutes later, Long Chen moves in the face of public doubts and confusion. He suddenly opens his eyes, which are as sharp as lightning. In a moment, he jumps and sweeps towards a stone pillar. Xing Xian, hiding behind the stone pillar, is startled. Seeing that Long Chen is coming at the stone pillar beside him, Xing Xian is relieved with a faint sneer flashing across the lips. He finds that he was overestimating Long Chen and is more confident of winning the game. But before the smile on Xing Xian's face fades, he suddenly frees as he realizes that Long Chen's track is a broken line, turning back to his direction from the nearby stone pillar. Long Chen is too fast, giving no chance for Xing Xian to escape. Just now, Long Chen deliberately found the wrong stone pillar to fool Xing Xian and make it impossible for the latter to escape. Long Chen can't locate the assassin through the five senses, but his spiritual strength is far beyond ordinary people. Just now he closed his eyes and could feel Xing Xian's subtle spiritual fluctuation. Xing Xian's face is full of despair as he senses the rapidly approaching danger. His spiritual power runs crazily, but he still has no confidence to block the power of terror. With a loud bang, Long Chen waves the long sword in his hand, followed by a golden light bursting out like a fierce animal coming out of the cage. The light chops off the stone pillar where Xing Xian hides behind. Then, it sweeps past Xing Xian and hit the arena, leaving a deep mark on the hard ground with hot magma flowing in the crack. The frightened Xing Xian is lying on the ground, his feet trembling. Just now, the sword light deflected and, and did not hit him. Xing Xian swallows a mouthful of saliva and looks at the trace left by the sword light with a frightened look. If Long Chen has not shown mercy, he would have died. You win. Thank you for your mercy, my brother-in-law, says Xing Xian in a trembling voice, but the tone is respectful. At this moment, candidly admits defeat in front of Long Chen, and he's got nothing to judge about his strength and personality. Hearing this, Long Chen is slightly stunned. Brother-in-law? 
What does this mean? How come Xing Xian called him that? Before Long Haochen thought it over, the audience burst into cheers. It's amazing. Long Haochen's attack just now has surpassed most level 5 knights. In this game, Long Haochen beats down an excellent assassin with only one strike. Li Xian claps excitedly as Long Haochen indeed makes her look good. Chire's smile is still the same as before. It seems that she expected all this earlier. With the victory of Long Haochen, the second match also began, which will be Lin Xian versus Bald Priest Sima Xian. As a result, the novel battle between them petrifies all the audience on the scene. As a magician, Lin Xian constantly casting magic to defend himself without using any attack skill. Sima Xian, as a priest, acts like a barbarian. Taking the weapons in his hands, he slams at Lin Xian. His attack is extremely fierce, equal to those warrior of the same level. However, Lin Xian's defense shield is too strong, making it impossible for him to break despite his great efforts. What makes Sima Xian more furious is that Lin Xian undid his clothes and put out a lot of potions with a vulgar look while shouting, I got potions. Sima Xian is pissed off at the sight of the sneer at the corners of his mouth. Sima Xian goes all out to attack him but still fails to break the defense. The playboy in front of Sima Xian not only has endless means of defense, but also uses precious potions as tap water. If the battle continues, Sima Xian will be exhausted and defeated. The game is over. Sima Xianqing wins. When Sima Xian is helpless with anger, the referee declares the result. Lin Xian, who was in high spirits just now, suddenly stops laughing. He questions the referee, wondering why he's the loser when he clearly had the upper hand. The referee gives him a glance and asked, Are you a priest or is he a priest? There is a rule in the Temple Alliance that as an auxiliary, a priest wins the competition if he can hold on in the challenge arena for 10 minutes. Sima Xian, who was ashen-faced, was over the moon that he burst into laughter and says in an ironic tone as Lin Xian did before, I got potions. I got potions. His words are full of ridicule, making Lin Xian's face turn pale with anger.